Okay, so hello everyone. I hope we are live. <laughs> I'll quickly check if we are live. It's Sunday, and it's live stream time. So, Ludwig, I hope you join because <laughs> you asked for it. So let's see if somebody is going to join. Hey, somebody's here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I managed to find earphones, but they have a different connection port. So this adapter is not going to work. So that sucks. Anyway, let me just get the lighting on and we can start the stream. Okay, so that should be much better. Thanks for the like already. So let's test to see if this stream is working. I found a pretty silent environment in our house. Um, the earphones are actually obviously not working. So let's check if we are live. Okay, we're live. Great. <laughs> okay. So I've gone and done my research about silver dollars. We've got a few pairs in the fish room. Uh, we got two more, I believe, males in today. Um, so I've done a bit of research. I've done a bit of time spending, um, watching, feeding, looking at them, uh, doing their tanks, seeing what the tank setup is, seeing anything there. So I think I have enough detail to tell you guys. So. Um, Who's here? Tell me at least in the comment section who you are. Please. It's an hectic, eh? Yes. We've been sending out 30 parcels a day. We've been getting stock in. We've been getting clients in. And we just want to say thank you for all the support that we do have. Um, I really appreciate all the support you guys give us constantly. Okay, that blur should be out. That's still pretty lighted. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go on. Uh, thanks for letting me know. So as you guys know, silver dollars is quite a common fish. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive. They're a little bit bigger. Um, they grow a little bit more. They seem to be uh, connected with a, a vicious idea for being connected to piranhas. They're the same species as piranhas is, but they're vegetarian, so they're not vicious at all. So that's the first thing for this video. Uh, they are vegetarian, so they don't eat their eggs, they don't eat other fish, um, but they do eat plants. And unfortunately, one of the things you want to do if you want to breed them in captivity is you want to have plants in your tank and that they eat. So we got some plastic plants in the tank at the, the fish farm in our fish room. So we added some plastic plants. They're like bushy plants. It must be a narrow leaf. So you're looking for something like um, ballas. And yes, there are a type of baku. They are, actually. I've got a few notes. So I'll give you the the species and the scientific names and whatever just now. Um, but we've added those those plants, and we've been feeding them a high-protein diet. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's get, let's get right into it. Um, let me just get my notes open here, and then I can let you guys know about everything. Um, but firstly, like, I hope you guys are all well. Like, the lockdown is treating you good. Um, I hope you guys are all still surviving and knowing you still have a job and you're still happy with your fish and you're still healthy and hope you can still pop in at the shop. But let's get right into this. Okay, so silver dollars is a common name given to a number of fish species. 
uh, mostly a genus Methanus, tropical fish belonging to the family Saracida. Okay, um, I'm probably gonna pronounce a few things wrong, but I will spell it for you in the commentary section so you can read it yourself and maybe know how to say it. <laughs> uh, you get um, something in Afrikaans which is called a, a, a broodboom. So that they call a, a cicadia in Afrikaans. In English, it's a cycad. So that's pretty much the same word pronunciation I assume is going to be there. But uh, they are closely re related to piranhas and paku. Native to South America, these somewhat round-shaped silverfish are popular with fish keeping and hobbies. So they're quite popular, um, obviously, as you know it. So the kingdom they uh, belong in is the Animalia, because they're animals, obviously. Um, they call data and whatever, ever. I'm not going to go through all of that. So. The silver dollar is a peaceful schooling species. The reason they're peaceful is because they are vegetarian, so they're not carnivorous, they don't eat meat, so that's pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in, whoever else tuned in. Um, I really appreciate you supporting our live stream. This is going to be a routine every week. Every Sunday I'm going to try and do a live stream. Um, it is a little bit difficult uh, with this lockdown and being busy, but that's no excuse, so we're going to have it every Sunday. Feel free to suggest any new topics or anything you want to want to know about Rebel Pets, any info you need. If you want to order something online, anything, you can comment down below in the comment section or in the live chat and then just give us a shout out. Okay, <clears throat> so they're peaceful because they're vegetarian. Uh, they spend most of its time in the mid to upper level of the water. They're very... Um, in my opinion, what I observed, they're very skittish, they're very like shy, and if you put your hand in the tank and it's a bare bottom tank, they will be frightened. They will be like going everywhere and going mad and swimming around, knocking the corners. So it's actually crazy. Um, but their lifespan in captivity is about 10 years. Um, it can be more, it can be less. Um, so yeah. That's about it. Uh, the adult fish will spawn around 2,000 eggs when you breed them. That's what we're working on now constantly. Uh, silver dollars and discus. That's our two fish, which is the main focus at this moment. And then in the background, we're still focusing on everything else. Um, but that's our main focus. Silver dollars natively live in tropical climate. Um, so they prefer PA of 5 to 7, a water hardness to 50 to 15 degrees and an ideal temperature sorry I apologize it's 15 um, your water hardness should be 15 your temperature is 24 to 28 or 75 to 82 Fahrenheit and the diet is almost exclusively vegetarian and in captivity they will often eat all plants and tanks they also eat worms and small insects so that means cockroaches, crickets, whatever, 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 etc., etc., etc. So now that we've gone through most of that part um, of my notes, introducing the silver dollars, we can get back to the comments. If you're in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter for our competition, please. That will be much appreciated. And you can also stand a chance to win a thousand bucks. Don't forget to pop in, in the shop or just order online. Thanks for your support in this challenging time. Um, so we're getting back to Freeman. Are you selling shrimp? Uh, no, we're not selling shrimp at the moment. We're out of stock. Um, this uh, corona pandemic has given the suppliers a shock. It has given the Rand dollar exchange a shock. So the prices has gone through the roof, literally. So um, it's very expensive. You're going to be buying guppy for 100 bucks. So we try and getting our breeding set up on so we can give it to you guys cheaper and make the hobby possible, even for little children and young boys to be in the hobby and be possible. Um, yeah, so we're not shelling shrimp at the moment, unfortunately, as soon as we can. 
Uh, when are you getting more livestock? Are we allowed to buy livestock now? Yes, from tomorrow, effectively, you are allowed to buy livestock, and we're going to continue as per normal. Um, we're not sure. They're very vague about the specifications and what you can and what you cannot, and where you can and where you cannot. Um, so, yeah, that is the problem. Um, but you are allowed to buy livestock, and we're looking in getting to local breeders to get more fish and also some YouTube content. And then, not just that, but we're also looking at getting to WCB or whatever and still doing that fish farm video, as I said, and two Sundays back live stream. Okay, so that's that answered. Um, yes, we get most of our fish from local breeders. But uh, to breed fish for all of the pet shops in South Africa is kind of difficult. So local breeders also import. So for example, you pay 1,500 rand to land a box on the airport with eight packets of fish in, 100 fish each. Before you choose your fish, you already pay like 3,000 rand for that box now. So it's multiplied by two. So that fish come to us and their prices is multiplied by two. So that means we need to multiply our prices by two, otherwise there's no reason for us to sell the fish. So that's that answered. If there's more questions, you can ask me um, more. Okay, Ludwig asked, how is the dollar exchange affecting local breeders? So as I said, there's a huge question in the market uh, for fish. There's a huge need for fish. So say you have an angel, you can breed your 30 angels, there's two pet shops coming, they want 60 angels, then you're like, ah, oh, I need more angels. And you're like, okay, let's import 60 angels at 10 rand each, okay? Uh, that used to be 10 rand. Now that's 20 rand. So that means it sell them to the pet shop or the fish shop at 30 rand. So that means the pet shop, which sold angels for 30 rand, needs to up their price to 40 rand. So that's not working anymore. But we are implementing our own breeding system which is going to make us cut out the dollar rand exchange so that's that answer okay let's go to steffi steff one i'm struggling with brown algae any tips i've washed everything out of the tank uh isn't in direct sunlight okay so brown algae normally is a big problem for some fish keepers so what i would suggest is get a Siamese algae eater. they love to eat that okay that's my solution to brown hair algae. Otherwise, you can just remove as much as you can, down your lighting time, stop feeding, and upgrade your filtration. That's what you can do. And you give it a cycle of two to three days to work itself out and finish the cycle it needs to go through. Okay, that's everything answered. Thanks for your guys' interaction. I really appreciate it. Uh, so let's get back into this. I still see the likes, the likes are sitting on two. So can we please try and get that up if possible? Um, we're still trying to get our watch time. I want to take a little time, I'm not going to be long, and explain again to you why we're reaching 1,000 subscribers. So YouTube gives you a certain amount of access to tools to use to make a better YouTube channel. They uh, support you a little bit more once you're a YouTube partner. So we want to do that, not just that that pays for the fish from there. So thanks for people um, that really support us and help us. I really appreciate it. Um, me and Ian, we are really glad. And me doing the social stuff, I really appreciate it. your guys' support on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. Go follow us everywhere. I'm still trying to get access to the YouTube, um, not to the YouTube, the Instagram. Sorry, guys. I'm doing the YouTube and the Facebook now, so I'm still trying to do the Instagram as well. Then there will be daily stories and there will be daily videos, so check that out. Check the space. Um, or we could also mean you wash too much and lost the bio cycle. Yes, that's true. So Ludwig is talking about the bacteria cleaning your fish tank. So normally people think, okay, take the fish out, take bleach or Omo and throw that into the tank, wash the rocks, wash the glass, wash the filter. Uh, what you can do, we do sell some organic aqua um, packages, which you can come and collect, add into your tank, and that puts the cycle back on track. Uh, oh, can you do a change from breeding video? Uh, yes, 
we will certainly look into that. Uh, we're setting up the fish room and there is fish uh, tanks ready for fish and shrimp. So as soon as we get to a breeder, which would be in this week, we can do that. I'm going to contact the guy. Um, it's going to be a surprise though. But we're going to go to his local fish tanks in his house and breeding and we're going to go through that and that's going to be pretty cool. So you guys can come along for that. Um, will you be breeding shrimp in the fish room too? I'd like to see that breeding video too. Yes, we will be doing that. At this moment it's standing still with the lockdown and we're a bit busy and the supplies are difficult and there's a, there's a few problems in the way but we're dealing with it and it's not an excuse so we're definitely going to do it. Okay, so let's get back to the, the silver dollars. Fish compatibility, which I also have. The silver dollar is listed as a semi-aggressive, but some silver dollars can be very mellow. They can be peaceful. And these fish can be kept in community tanks with fish that can't fit in their mouths. Okay, for example, not guppies and neons and small fish, because they are quite fast. Uh, once fully grown, they can kept with larger fish like Oscar, pikes, and larger catfish. 100%. Okay, sorry, just to respond to that comment, not standing still, tanks are siphoning and all. Um, no, when you remove your, your biomedia from your fish tank, then you stop everything. So it water into your tank so it's probably standing still but yeah tanks are hopefully standing still not driving cycles in the driveway but yeah anyway let's get back to that breeding okay let's let's get into this this is what you guys want i did plenty of research on and i did a lot of networking a lot of cross routing so let's let's get into this Okay, so point number one. So my first tip for you guys is to buy at least six silver dollars and add them into a four foot tank. The reason why I'm saying that, they need to be juvenile, but um, they're schooling fish, so they like to school, otherwise they start stressing. Um, but yeah, the best way to acquire breeding pairs is to purchase half a dozen juvenile silver dollars and raise them together. Okay, the parents will not consume the eggs or fry, although other fish will. So when spawning them, it's wise to place them in a separate tank to facilitate spawning. Make sure the water is eight. The hardness of the water is eight. And warm and warm temperatures as 80 Fahrenheit, which is 26, 28. Keep the lighting dim. So that's my second tip for you guys. So first tip. You must remember this first step is to buy at least six silver dollars. They're less stressed, so the chance that they will breed is better. There's more silver dollars, so the chance that there's male or female is better. And the chance of you getting lucky is better because there's like three males and three females possibility. It could be two males, four females, there could be one part. The, the possibilities is endless. And therefore, the success rate is higher. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's my tip. And the other tip is to keep your lighting dim. So lighting should not be on the tank, like a, a end light, like a, a light bulb on the side of the tank, but not the cool tank. Um, light it up. That's recommended. Um, yeah, keep. The lighting them and provide fine leaved plants. Like I said, ballast is pretty cool, but they eat ballast. So if you have enough, you can do that. If you don't, get plastic plants, like which we did in the fish room, and that update you will see shortly. Eventually, a pair will spawn, and the female will lay up to 2,000 eggs. The eggs will fall to the bottom of the tank where they will hatch in three days. So if you see eggs, you know in three days you're going to get silver dollars. After approximately a week, the fry will be swimming and able to eat fine foods such as commercially prepared fry food, finely crushed spirulina, or freshly hatched brown shrimp. That's my, my third tip. Also, feed your silver dollars frozen foods and like with like brown shrimp, uh, lance fish, and any type of sorry, not lance fish, uh, 
spirulina, brine shrimp. They, they tend to not be carnivorous, but they still eat meat and fish. So if you can feed them guppies or whatever, vegetarian or green. Okay, for some reason, my connection is unstable, but it seems to be back where it needs to be. So that's that. Um, yeah, and remember to feed your babies um, brine shrimp and also do lots of water changes because that stimulates growth and that's pretty cool to see your babies grow up pretty quick. And then you get plenty solid, plenty different species of solid dollars. So it's going to be the last part of this video. My fourth tip, okay, fourth uh, is to choose what you want to breed nicely and carefully beforehand. So you get your normal silver dollar, then you get a striped silver dollar, then you get a striped silver dollar, which looks different, so it's striped in a different way. Then you get spotted silver dollar, red spotted silver dollar, speckled silver dollar, red oak silver dollar, black bed, black board silver dollar, silver melissoma, which is a hard buried silver dollar, and that's that. So that's what I did. That's what I researched for you guys. So if you guys have any other questions, comment them quickly and I can try to get back to them. Um, I'm just going to go to my fifth thing, and that's how to sex silver dollars. So your females would be just silver or round. See through. Um, the males would have orange on the tip of their fins, the anal fin, the back fin, the bottom fin. There would be black dots on either sides of the male and the female, um, the male and the female, other sides of the male's um, faces behind their eyes. There's a black dot on each side. And then as well, they have black stripes. So that's been it, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video. Thanks for supporting us through this challenging time. I've done some research. If you like this video, please reach out to us and Tell us do more. If you have any suggestions on us doing it better, please send a message, reach out to us, and let me know what you thought of this live stream. So I've just thought I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to give you guys as much information as I can and just do that peacefully. So I've not been too up and running and going crazy. Tomorrow is a full working day again. So if you guys want to, you can come pop in the shop. Uh, we are selling livestock. We got some nice livestock. So if you guys are interested, we can do that. Uh, you must please come check our flower and our promotion on the flower. We finished a corner tank, put that in front of the shop. Uh, that's an awesome deal. You can get less than 10% off. Watch, watch this live stream. So you get a fish tank with a canister filter, with two eaters, and it's already plugged in, already plumbed everything. Uh, the canister photo is full of media, so you get that the tank alone goes for uh, 2,500 rand, I believe, and then the flower horn goes for 1,500 rand. It's been fed a lot, so it's grown a lot. It's like huge now, <laughs> like huge. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty colored up. So, um, yeah, we can give you less 10 if you use the code. I'm going to give you the code in the comment section now. It's going to be less 10. If you want to know more about this tank, tomorrow morning message Ian, send less 10, and then you can get your promotion. So, what happens? Uh, the price adds up to 4,000 Rand, and we give you less 10, and that works out to 3,600 Rand. Uh, we can even go as far and give you for the, the corner fish tank with a flower horn inside. So thanks. I'm going to almost tune out. I'm going to give you guys a second or two to still ask some questions. Um, thanks for people that like the info. I try to give you as much info as I can, uh, which I could find. So it seem to be not popular. Uh, when you search breeding some of the dollars, you get like one video on YouTube, which is a good video. So we have this video, and then we're going to add another video when we breed our silver dollars. This is just the info. This is like the before you breed silver dollars. So let's get right into this. Thanks for the info. 
Um, thanks. Appreciate you guys supporting us. So, I assume all the questions are done then. You should have a wonderful evening. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and please make sure to support us. We really appreciate it and we want to give you the best we can. Thanks.